Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about Romberg test. Now, this test is performed by police officials in order to determine whether a person is under the influence of alcohol or not. This test basically depends upon the body's sense of positioning. As in, if the person is able to stand in a particular position or not. Now, if the person is under the influence of alcohol, he will not be able to stand in the uh, proper position, proper standing position. So, we will get to see ataxia. Ataxia is called incoordination. And this occurs due to the loss of motor coordination of your body. Now, let's understand what are the steps of this test. So, the first of all, you need to tell the patient that uh, the patient has to remove his shoes or whatever footwear that the person is wearing. So, first is remove the shoes. After that, the person is told to stand up straight. Just like this person is standing, the person need to stand straight with uh, both of the feet all together and the arms by the side of the body. Just like this, the person is told to stand. Now, the clinician or the police official <coughs> asks the patient to stand quietly with eyes open first the eyes are supposed to be kept open the official is going to examine the person if there is any kind of movement or if the person is swaying right or left like this in the picture right or left or uh, back or in front or is the person standing straight then after that the person is told to close the eyes then once the eyes are closed, the examiner is again going to examine that person for this very same um, movements like if he is able to, he, she is able to stand properly or not. If he is swaying on his left or right side or is he uh, tilting forward or backward just like this in the picture. So very carefully the police official or the clini clinician is going to um, examine the person. Now this test is scored by the counting by counting the seconds the patient is able to stand with the eyes closed. Also in a few cases the doctor might also push you lightly in order to see if you are able to regain the balance or not. You won't be able to regain the balance if you are under the influence of alcohol. So this can also be performed. Also, a slight modification of this test can be that the official is going to tell you to, you know, move your head or um, tilt your head backwards with your eyes closed for about 30 seconds and then bring the head forward. So, eyes closed, move your head back for and keep it there for 30 seconds and then move it forward. Then, assessment is based on the ability to stand uh, during the instruction whether he sways excessively or is unable to complete the test if he is unable to complete the test and is swaying like this then this gives a positive sign for this test now the important thing that we need to know here is that the person is going to be unsteadier when the eyes are closed than the eyes are open in case of severe intoxication a positive Romberg test is even seen with the open eyes or in a sitting position. So this was all about Romberg test. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found my content to be useful. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video and share it with your friends. Thank you.